You do. So Lay it he, down. He, he has recently graduated from Brown University in the wonderful Providence, Rhode Island. Now lives in New York, uh, you know, currently situating himself, but he's coming out here and apparently doing a pretty fine job. Uh, yep. Saw you beat Vector, man. Are they, let's yeah. see, are they hopping right into this? Yeah, he smoked two Arizona players so far, so obviously I have to hate him forever. Who else was the, who was the other one? I saw Vector. Uh, that was Lilo right there. Oh, okay. So so two went down by his hand, huh? Mm -hmm. well, let's and see if Ken can be the redemption you're looking for. Yep. Ken is. The thing about Ken's style is that it is, it's extremely based on just analyzing the timing of the person that he's fighting. Mm -hmm. He loves to move forward and go in. He is. He doesn't play with a lot of finesse in his spacing, okay. like some more modern Marths. Like, he wants to keep going in for his combos. Uh -huh. So instead of relying on jockeying around a lot and waiting, he goes in when he thinks you're vulnerable, and that's all. Like, he doesn't wait for a confirm very often. All right. This, now, this is my first time seeing Ken play in person since he has come back. So I, I am very excited to see how this all play, turns out. I've seen him, you know, play West Balls and uh, Bizarro Flame, I think. Oh. Was it? And that's a double jump taken. That's yeah. nasty. That's that right a double there. jump right before the forward air. Yeah. Forward smash, hit him. That's one of the worst things is when you try and smash DI or just get ready to DI a hit, and you maybe burn you your double up. jump. Yeah, sometimes you press up too before the attack even hits you and you end up jumping. Yeah. And to make matters worse, she ended up double jumping into tipper range. So that was a giant double whammy of misfortune. Yeah, but that it's happened also a minute smart, ago. smart of Ken to recognize the situation occurring. Yeah. And you can see, you can tell there's a little, little platform oh. that the characters will jump off of. You really look at them when they're in the air. They have a little platform that they jump off of. Yeah. But wow, that was really great. Hit him with uh, two forward Bs, popped him right up on the platform, set him up for an up tilt. Yeah, like when I said when I said Ken doesn't have a lot of positional finesse, I mean that more as a compliment than anything else. Because a lot of players spend a ton of time running and moving around, and they don't even entirely know what they're looking for. They're just hoping for something big. Right. Eventually, they crack and go in. Ken looks at you. He's kind of like Mango in this regard, that he just basically stares at your character until he's got your timing, and then he just goes for it. Wow. And that was clever. Yeah. Now that that still that tipper is basically the entirety. If you're if you're behind Marth, if you're if you get hit by that, it's gonna be a tipper. I don't think uh, unless you're really inside Marth, the up tilt behind him, um, I'm pre every single time I'm pretty sure yeah. it's gonna be a tipper. It also hits lower behind him than it does in front of him. So if he wanted to hit behind him, yep. or if he wanted to hit low on the ground in front of him, he'd always want to turn So around. exactly how he did that. Yeah, wow. and he knew. So don't count Ken out. Right. He's remembering. He's learning. <laughs> He's remembering. We must stop him before He's he gets too far. He's combining the old <laughs> classics. We have to bring him back to hits. the lab. <laughs> now, I bet Jesse's really enjoying this. Uh, I'm sorry, Hecto Hertz is really enjoying this, but oh boy. Yeah, dude. I, I'm just, I'm really happy to see him getting this opportunity. And we got a Salty. <laughs> He's bringing it back. I think he can at least take a couple more stocks than he did that last match. Yeah. He seemed like Ken came at him and he was a little bit unprepared for exactly what was in store. But you can see at the start here, he's doing a little more caution. But gets poked away. Yeah. Wow. Ken, Ken has a surprisingly solid punish game for someone who hasn't played in such a long oh. time. And, uh, now that down air came out immediately as he was double jumping. There's the only way that would have hit. He down it immediately as he was double jumping. I mean, it is his combo. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he knows how it works. Right. <laughs> oh, and there we go. He oh, waits for that tech. Oh, he was. If he didn't jump, I'm pretty sure Hector was dead there. Yeah. Again, that would have popped him up on the platform and set up for up tilts. Except that time, Hector Hertz rolled behind him. Uh. Yeah. Do you see what I mean about wow. Ken? Just yeah. Attack. 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 And he, as At soon as like, the double jump came out, he hit him with that forward smash. Ooh, saw the up tilt coming out from Ken. Hector Hertz has, has a lot of work to do. Fortunately, yeah. Ken is in auto combo percent off of a grab. Yeah. So if he gets a grab, it's down throw down air, and then it's edge guard with back air time. But we'll see if. Ooh, Ooh that was. Oh, that would have been. Okay, that would have been good. All right, he's got a stock. That, that whole sequence was actually really nicely played from Hector Hertz. Yeah. Like when he whiffed, he retreated back to a position that gave him advantage again, right. and he punished Ken's aggression, so. Uh -oh. Wow, they're dancing around each other, yeah. but Ken gets the F smash. Hector is going to hit the stage. He was dead there. That was a mistaken input. He wanted to forward smash him there. Yeah. And I think that up B was just a, I don't know what that was. I don't know. Hard to say what's going on in the mind of Ken. Like, when players are Ooh. ahead, and there we go, we have, oh. well, we have a platform assisted chain grabs. Yep. Now, I love to see those. It's yeah. A lot of the times, they will catch your opponent off guard, but generally, I really think it's only the first time. Yeah, after that, like unless you get the perfect 
uh, you follow know, timing. I, I would think to mix up a dash dance between their shield, like when he hit the top platform there, I would have thought maybe a uh, dash dance to mix up behi behind the shield and in front of it, and then go for the next grab. Yeah. But if you go straight forward, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, wow, he just caught me off guard with that. So it's going to be right at the top of their mind to avoid it next time. Now we've got right. Ken off the level, Ooh. and oh, can't quite make it. Now that would have been really good. I think it would have been possible if Ken was just a little further forward to not have hit the shield and still grab the ledge. Now, at least that's how it looked. All right. Echo's, Echo's got it going, and those are wow. every single one of those were tippers. That was amazing. And I really like the choice by Ken when he had him at the right side. He chose to up air instead of forward air and push him off the level. It would have been a soft forward air. It ended up being a tippered up, up air. Oh, it's so and, oh, up tilt again. He's got he's having C stick issues, I guess. <laughs> whether whether they're user based or controller based for me. Wow. Team, and ooh, 166 that throw combo. Yeah, this is. <laughs> Yeah, like right now, Hector can't afford oh, to there get. There he goes. Okay, space himself around it, and <laughs> Ken walks away with first place in the pool. Good job, Ken. Good job to Hector Hertz. Let's see if he can make it out. He's gonna, uh, I think, he has to go through um, Vector Man again. All right. 